Mace drags Puff Daddy and DJ Khaled into his beef with Cameron on this one with Rushmore. This is George Tower with JT News and MREC with MREC TV. Hit that bell and hit that subscribe button. MREC, what's good, man? Salute, JT. I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm great, man. Mace is back with Rushmore. Uh, MREC was one of the first people to put this record out. And, yes, sir. Uh, he takes it, you know, he doesn't go in on Cameron on this one. He's just showing Cameron. He isn't going anywhere. He's just taking some shots. Some light taking shots. Some shots. Yeah. You know, some little warning shots. He letting shots. Cam know he wants to smoke. Absolutely. He says, yeah. smoking on that Wiz Khalifa, where how does it go? I, I don't know. Smoking on that Wiz Khalifa, give you ether. Yeah, some shit like that. He's, he's going in. Ether. Whatever. Some shit like that. I ain't really get to memorize the lyrics and the bars. <clears throat> mm. Now, basically, Diddy and Khaled are just giving their ad libs on there. Um, does it sound like Khaled is actually on the track, or do you think he like took it from somewhere? Yeah, it sounds like he might have took it from somewhere. Khaled might feel a way, you know. Yeah. So. Do, do Khaled and Cameron rock together? I don't really hear them on records. Uh, all I know is that Cal Coward bought Votto from Cameron. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He did. And Cameron, Cameron probably charged him a grip too. <laughs> absolutely, Cameron doesn't sell things for cheap, and he wrote lyrics for Coward to spit on air before, and on a record. Spit on what? Spit on some record. Ca Ca oh, well. Cameron wrote some lyrics for him. I think that's what oh. it looked like. You know. Uh, then. You know, we've seen recently Cameron was on The Breakfast Club and said he's never really dissed Mace. He just told the truth. I mean, isn't that what a diss is? I mean, let's be honest. Facts. You know, That's what he it's said. It's a funny way to say it. I mean, I, I always like Cameron's. His talk game is what really puts Top Cameron notch. over the edge. It's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he'll, he'll talk about getting a watch, but he'll tell you he flew to uh, Switzerland to pick it out, you know, when he probably got it from downtown, <laughs> you know. But, you know, he's just, that's that's Cameron. Yeah, so getting back to this Mace, mm -hmm. drop another record out the blue. Yes. Um, Rap Rushmore. Mm -hmm. On the artwork, he has himself, Diddy, and Khaled, you know, uh, pretty much copying the the Mount Rushmore with the president's faces well, on the. Let's say let's see what he's really doing here is he's he's trying to pin he's trying to say that Diddy and Cal that are running with him on this beef towards Cameron because that's what's still hot right now. Yeah. So he's trying to show allegiance between these three, uh, and. You know, it's not 2007 where people, not even 2004, where people were just going to believe that. People would assume a lot then. There's too much communication between the fans and artists now. Yeah, where social you, media. Yeah. You just, you know, it took things to another level. You know what I'm saying? Mace needs to recruit MREC or, you know, something <laughs> else, and then we can, we can help him with his campaign. Yeah, yeah, he already know that. He called me. Uh, last week, Mace, man, you you already know. Hit my line, man. Let's you sound like you sound like Fabulous right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he called Fab um when he dropped uh, the uh, the, the Oracle. We called Fab, Fab right before he dropped the Oracle. Mace called me, I think, the day after he dropped the Oracle. Mm. And he told you know Fab, I, mean? I got, I had to spank him. <laughs> but um. You know, Mace, let's, you know, lock in, man. You know what I mean? In, in terms of that marketing, you know what I mean? We get that marketing right for that for that right check, man. Absolutely. Um, all right, guys. Well, go check it out. We're going to link it below in the description. It's on MREC TV right now. Go check it out. This is a classic sample from UFO yeah. by ESG. Uh, many people have sampled it, including Notorious yeah. B.I.G. and Big Daddy Kane and many others. Uh, even Memphis Bleak, who's trying to claim the record. But... Uh, so, anyways, and Mace, Mace, you know, he doing his thing on this too. You know, um, how you felt about the um? Uh, he went in. It was cool. Yeah. You uh, user rating user rating is fifty fifty right now. People, the people were voting on it on uh, some websites. It's fifty fifty, but uh, yeah. also, this is more for the older guys. Like you know, me and Ray, I'm in my thirties. 
you know, Rex in his late thirties as well. You know, it, we're in, it's for people in their thirties, honestly. This type of music right here, you know, right, Rex? Right? Am I wrong? Yeah. I mean, for the um boom bop, for the, for the boom bap hip hop fans, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's for it's for the people. Yeah, exactly. So, anyways, guys, uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in. We'll check you guys on the next one. This is Jordan Tower with JT News and MRAC with MRAC TV. Make sure you subscribe to both of our channels. We appreciate you guys, and we'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace. Peace.